chapter 4 verse 13 says we have the same spirit of faith we believe therefore we spoke i want to share this with you for three minutes give me three minutes of your time and i want you to start moving in this in 2020. the spirit of faith is a mantle in your mouth to draw in events to draw in people to draw in substance to draw in manifestation justice to draw in the kingdom of heaven the spirit of faith will have you say things at the spur of the moment that's in line with your destiny everything that you say is like the creation of life. You can breathe life into something that's going to destroy you, and you can breathe life into something that's going to prosper you, bless you. I wanna say this. The other day I was mentioning the young man, Desi. I was talking about him. I called his name several times. Today, I walked right and me and Desi collided. Now, saints, really my mind is shook because the Lord Jesus gave me some interpretations about the meeting that I had with the young man, Desi. For those of you all that don't know him, he's very successful and comedian. He's very funny. He has a gift from God. But the Lord Jesus gave me the interpretation. He says, son, you notice that you talked about him and he manifested. And those of you all that have been following me for, for years, this not the first time. You have heard me say before that I've called people and then I would see them show up. And says, I want you to listen to me very clearly. I called Desi's name and me and him collided at the same place at the same time. Strategically. The same moment. I spoke him. I seen him. He manifested right in front of me. If your words have so much power that when you talk, it will occur, why don't you do that with finances? Everybody that follows me, I don't want you to talk the same no longer. This is apostolic and it's prophetic. For now on, I give you authority to talk to things. And here's what I'm doing. I'm reactivating you. Talk to things. Saints, this no joke. I told you I saw Zendaya. I saw when I see her like she breaking out. I speak to what is and it disappears. And when I speak, I'm at the place I don't see another way. So if I say that the, school, the, the sky is green and you tell me that it's blue, it's green. Speak to things from now on, even your mind. Saints, I remember there was one, uh, uh, when I first started in ministry, it was so crucial and it was new to me. Because I wasn't raised up in a controversial house. My, my mother is not like a verbally abusive person, a mentally abusive person. So I didn't have that happen. So when I got into ministry, I started ministering. Like people would call me names. And they were so disrespectful. And, and, and it took a toll on me in the beginning. 
I was like 14 years old hearing people call me false prophet and dot, dot, dot. And I didn't even call myself prophet at that time. You know that, right? I was just minister and people had started calling me prophet because I was accurate in my prophecies. And people started doing that. Like I didn't start off calling myself nothing. I found out from the Lord, he, he told me you are my prophet when I was around, uh, I want to say like the age of, uh, around the early teenage years. But it was, it took a toll on me. I had, at first it shocked me. Because I didn't realize that people would do that in like the church field. Now I had read the story, uh, I see the Lord's story and stuff like that. But I didn't know that was going to hit me so young. You know? So it took a toll on me because I heard the words that people were saying. And I couldn't avoid the words because I was in that proximity. And where I was evangelizing, I would go from different denominations. And I couldn't avoid hearing what they said because I was in their proximity. So I had to hear it. And so it hit me hard. And those words beat, beat my soul. They didn't beat my spirit because I'm a giant. They beat my soul at first. And so then the Lord Jesus came to me and said, son, it's okay. Your path is my path. Your cross is my cross. The sticks and throw, stones that they throw at you is the sticks and stones that they're throwing at me. So now I'm going to teach you something. He said, now remove the words. Remove what they're saying. Use my blood to purge your conscience from dead works, which is a text inside of Hebrews. Um, I want to say Hebrews 14, 9 or somewhere. But it said that the blood of Jesus purges your conscience from dead works. And so when that was going on, I started speaking the blood. I would say the blood purges my mind from words and thoughts and insults and and then the Lord showed me a text. And it was in a secret place in the Bible. And look what it says in Job chapter 5 verse 21, which was so shocking. It says, you will be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Wow. I bet some of y'all never heard that text in your life. But if you follow me, you hear it. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. And the Lord showed me where in the Bible it said, Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned. So condemning power, it means that you take the life out of a word that's spoken against you so it can affect you. And saints... Um, those of you all that follow me, you're going to have to learn to do that. Like, don't run from nobody. Don't let nobody check you on Facebook or check you nowhere and have you retreat and have you start hiding and have you start up there acting weird. No, no don't give people that power. You're going to have to learn to rise up. And I, I really, I don't really believe I even have to emphasize that because everybody here is strong. But I'm just saying in, in the years to come. If Jesus should tarry, you're going to have to learn how to use the spirit of faith. And so I removed it with my words and I felt so good. And saints, from that point until now, years later, decades later, that's been the secret. But I called Desi. And he showed up. If you call money, it will show up. When I was on my path and God was growing me financially, I was not only sowing and obeying God, but I would call in the finances. I would command wealth. I would command the manifestation of money. I'm not commanding the father like the father needs to be commanded. But I'm commanding Wealth. Now, let me just read this to you because the word of God said, command me, 
Command ye me the work of my hands. Now, saints, that means that I can command wealth because wealth is a work of his hands. I'm about to get off of here. I'm going to be on here for one more minute. Wealth is the work of his hands. Riches is the work of his hands. Increase, money cometh, is the work of his hands. And so it says, command ye me, Isaiah 45, verse 11. He said, command ye me the work of my hands. As a sower, you have authority to command the work of the hands of the Father. So you can command favor. In the name of Jesus today, I command favor to surround me as with a shield. I command favor to saturate my atmosphere. I command wealth to be loose. I command wealth to manifest. I command the money just keep on coming to me. I command money to move in my direction. And you can do this with other things too. I command sickness and disease to leave my physical health right now. I command in the name of Jesus, my body to be whole. I command pain to no longer torment me. I'll never be sick another day in my life. Today, I met a young man, he said he was praying. I gave him the insight to all my social media pages. He said, I was praying for my debts to be canceled, for dot, 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 and I was ministering to him. And he, and, and, and he didn't know he was having an encounter with the Minister of Finances. But as I was listening and I was talking, I told him my testimony and, and he started shaking. Young boy, strong boy, grown man or in his 30s, 30, 30, what? In his 30s, started shaking. He couldn't help it. Um, twice. And I didn't touch him or nothing like that. He just started shaking. And he and he didn't. He started shaking underneath the power of God that it shocked him. He said, Oh my God. He said, What am I feeling? And says, I ain't do nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't, I was just chill. But it's the transference of the presence and the power of God, the minister of finances. Even the minister of finances carry a heavy glory. Remember, he's a heavy glory carrier. That's why the wealth so strong. The minister of finances, his briefcase is filled with money. Every child of God must realize that you can't even sow the way that God wants you to sow until you realize that the minister of finances, his bags is filled with money, filled with finances. This kingdom is lavish. Earlier today, as the Lord lives, as I stand in the presence of God, I had something that I lost. As a matter of fact, Here's what I lost. I lost my uh, Louis Vuitton wallet. And my Louis Vuitton wallet, I lost it, right? There was a lady came. She ran up to me, an older white lady. And when she, she was with her daughter. And when she came up to me, she said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I said, what happened? She said, this your wallet? She said, here. Now, let me tell you something. The lady, she was older, but she wasn't over. She was around like 40 something, 43, 42. The lady was shaking. I said, what happened? She said, I don't know. I, I don't know. I never experienced this before. She said, when I picked it up, I just started shaking. And her daughter, her daughter, you know, like children, children, like they don't. That's why most times cops will go to a child and ask them questions because a child will tell the truth. The little girl was over there and she said, Mommy, what's wrong? I never seen you do this. And the lady, she handed me the Louis Vuitton wallet and she was just shaking. 
And I tried to talk to her later. She said, I don't know what I'm feeling. She said, am I going to be okay? What did I do? I said, what, what you mean? But you did. <laughs> I said, you handed me my wallet. I said, can I do something for you? Can I, I said, can I buy you a meal or something like that? Because you had me more. She said, no, no, no. I, I just feel like I'm, I'm feel like I'm in just another place. I said, where you feel like you at? <laughs> this planet Earth. She said, I just feel like I'm in another place right now. And the Lord Jesus said to me, he said, son, Watch my power on her. He said the reason why she's trembling because look at Arrhenius holding her arm. Look at Darion holding her, her holding her arm. They gathered, they gathered her and brought her to you and told her to give you the wallet. She said he, he said when they move, she gonna stop trembling. All right. This the most powerful year. This the most powerful time. Because you have what it takes now to create the manifestation that the Father wants in your provision, your mind. Let me tell you something. Pull in thoughts. When you feel like your mind drifting from you and you being disturbed, say in the name of Jesus, all divine thoughts, I command you to come to my mind right now. I receive the mentality of Christ. Anointed thoughts. Anointed meditation. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding ruling my heart and mind. Learn to activate everything with your words now. While you're sowing, activate the wealth. Command the wealth. Loose money. Decree financial miracles, financial multiplication. Loose your harvests and decree that your harvest is coming back to you a hundredfold, a thousandfold. I'm going to talk to you also this year about the thousandfold because I can't hold this knowledge from you. I started sowing out of the thousandfold. I disrespected the hundredfold. And I started sowing out of the thousandfold. When I say I'm sowing out of the thousandfold is a mentality. You receive that anointing in Deuteronomy 111, and that anointing makes you bless and multiply. Deuteronomy 111 talked about the thousandfold blessing. The thousandfold is large, everlasting money flowing constantly to you from every direction. And the Lord will do this, especially when you are a true sower and you are listening to the spirit of God concerning your money, you can call in the thousandfold blessing and you can name your seed the thousandfold blessing. And I want some of you all to start believing and naming your seed the thousandfold. Return blessing. I want you to move in the thousandfold because I got to be honest with what I did. And that was one major thing that I zoomed in on before I stepped into massive breakthroughs or, or open doors or open heaven, open windows, open wealth gates. The thousandfold blessing. I called Desi and he appeared before me today. The Lord wanted me to tell you that you can call money and it'll manifest. You can call justice and it'll manifest. You can call healing and it manifest. Discern the creative power in your calling. Your calling is not just your assignment. Your calling is your authority.